Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome to Simba UK. This is Race Condition. It's my very first look at the game. I saw it advertised the other day and I thought, you know what? I think I'm going to like this game. So I uh, hooked up with the dev and I said, any chance you can send me a key for review? And they said, sure thing. Here you go. Let's go have a look at the settings. For some reason, we're running in 1080p. Let's swap that to 4K, full window. V-Sync is on. Quality is very high. Speed in miles per hour. Distance in miles. Okay. Looks like we're good. Now, I'm not sure if my controller is actually connected yet or not. Yep, looks like we are. So these are all the cars that are on offer. Some of them are locked. There's that pink one. Let's go with that. Acceleration is super high. Speed is pretty high. Grip is quite low. Let's go with that. Let's go with Pro. Let's see how easy it is to spin. Brackenheim. Eagle Junction. Okay, let's do this. Three laps. Sunny conditions. I love the cinematics. I'm super impressed with the cinematics. Very nice. Good start. Obviously, I don't know the track. <laughs> it's brutal out here. Oh my god. We can all. Oh no. I've got to say, even though it's not high graphics. Oh, there's a bit of a stutter there. There certainly is a bit of a polish. I've just noticed we've got fuel bottom left hand corner. Skid marks stay on the track. It's a shame your tyres. It's a shame that your tyres don't have any. Uh... Wear and tear on them. So I think with with time. <laughs> I like the way everybody wipes out at the end. <laughs> Eighth place, my first game. That's okay. With time, I think you could get quite good at this game. But uh, yeah, I'll be honest, the physics are not that hot. So when you go hard into a corner, there doesn't appear to be any downforce. I haven't really looked at the car setups or anything like that. I just want to have another quick go. Again, another good start. So I'm trying to keep pace with the other cars. Let's restart that. It seems like there's a, a gap in between where I think I need to be and where I need to be. So you can actually keep the power down quite a bit there. It's... Oh, I've totally wiped him out. It is tricky to steer. Kind of slide round the corners instead of drive round the corners. 
Not sure I'm a fan of that, I'll be honest. Let's see if we can take first place from Dickman. What kind of a superhero would that be? <laughs> Come on. Couldn't do it. Just couldn't quite get it. We'll take second place. Okay, let's have a look see here. So these are all the graphic settings. Okay, okay, everything's good. The soundtrack is a little bit annoying at this moment in time. Let's have a look at a world tour. Okay, here we go. This is what I've been training for. Time to show the world what I can do. Stick with the pinky. Oh, did I just go for basic? I think I did. Let's try that again. World tour. the other drivers talking about me after the race I don't think I will stand much of a chance in the world tour I guess we'll have to see about that okay pinky again but this time we'll make sure we're on pro so it says car setup is C so it must only have partial controller support I guess that is the car setup Okay. Okay. So this is for realsies this time. This time it really matters. Whoa! Oh, he totally wiped me out. Totally wiped me out. Look at that. Oh, there are some different camera views. You can look behind. Let's just restart. That was outrageous. Let's see if I can find a better camera angle. That actually feels a lot more stable. See you later, dick man. Oops, I overdid it. I knew I would. Let's close him down and take him on the last corner. Pretty fast, I'll give him that. I don't know how he went round that corner at that speed. You could tell I couldn't do it. Oh no! Disaster. Third place.
So this game comes out on the 1st of March 2022. Um, I don't know what the um, price is going to be, but I don't imagine it's going to be too high. And uh, I just want to check. Yeah, there is a demo available, so you can download a demo. It's an early access title, so uh, it could change quite a bit. I don't like the fact that I start at the back every single time. Bit of cheating never hurt no one. You know, I quite like the music when you're in the race. It's a bit 80s. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. At least you can restart every race. Okay, so let's 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 finalise some thoughts on this game because I don't think there's much else this game has got to offer at the moment at least. The controls are okay. They're controlling the car quickly, accurately, so from that perspective, I think we're all right. The physics of the cars are not what I was hoping for. They're not like racing cars at all. They kind of slide around the track and very little realism. They're also very slow, the AI, except for the first car, which is a bit more tricky to deal with. seem to have no qualms about bashing you out of the way. You can cut corners, it seems, as much as you like. Let's see if I can do this. I can't do it. Second place. Um, I see that they've got pits, uh, which is only, it seems, going to be used for refueling the car. I think they need to go further than that. I think they need to have a, a damage system. Uh, this is what I think would make this a fantastic game. An easy recommendation is if the cars could get damaged, um, Oh, actually, I'll take it back. It is not a demo. It's a Next Fest release game. But I think it could do so much more than it has done. The tyres need to wear over time. The physics need to be upgraded. I think the look and the feel of the game is great. When I was a kid, I had a racing game where you see that sheen on the rear wheel. That would change colour depending on the condition of your tyre. So blue would mean that you've got no tyres left. Red would mean that they're good. Or green was good. I forget now. But uh, yeah, so much more could be done with this game. It's definitely got a look and a feel that I think people could get behind. But at the moment, the way the physics are, I don't know which people that would be. Um, good game for kids. If you've got young children and you want to buy them a game, something to get them into racing, I think this would be good for them. But I can't see many adults feeling like this is something they could dedicate a huge amount of time to. 
the racing element of the game is there for sure. Go on! Ah, oh, so close. See what it says here. Set in a modern low pony arcade world, players of race condition find themselves as a rookie in a highly competitive open wheel racing league. A rivalry with the suspiciously good opponent, Mr. Dickman, complicates things further. Is there a storyline to this? I haven't seen any evidence of a storyline. It's about online multiplayer. I mean, there is a multiplayer element, and it is about leaderboards intelligent ai driven opponents the other cars present a fun challenge by reacting intelligently to the situations that can occur during a race can you outsmart them and win finely tuned game physics entire entirely physics driven the game offers a rewarding driving experience unlike many other racing games the ai cars are also driven by the same physics models so it's all fair play the soundtrack, I'd say, was pretty good, but um, yeah, keyboard and controller support. I, you know, I think this is a fun little game. I just don't think it's particularly serious, which is a shame because if they gave the game more realistic physics, real-world physics, I'm talking about collision damage, made the tracks slightly bigger. I think there's a real market for a game like this. I really do. And this low poly racing game, especially old old fogies like me who used to play games that looked exactly like this if we were lucky. And there's certainly a sense of nostalgia to it, but for me it's just too arcadey and it's too underdeveloped. Hopefully the dev will take this feedback as constructive criticism and um, really think about what more he can do to make this a realistic racing sim in a low poly simulation environment hopefully that's the case um i haven't given it much time how long has this video been less than 20 minutes but that's another indication that it, it really hasn't captured my imagination it really hasn't done enough to excite me and um yeah that's a shame because I love the look of it and the soundtrack's good and I think it could be a much better game if it just had a bit more focus placed on realism. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.